Morning, Mr. Garms. After you. Garms? The name's Nesbitt. You must have the wrong fellow. Oh, yeah? I don't care for bounty hunters, mister. So why don't you just get on your horse and ride on out? I don't care what name you call him. Harry Nesbitt is a good friend of mine. Look, that was a long time ago. And I was just a kid. Them days are behind me. I got a whole new life here. A damn good life. It's just about finished.
Hey, Kiva. So you found him, after all. Yeah. No thanks to you. Sheriff, you knew him. Lots of people around here thought he was a good man. A wanted man, that's all that matters. To you. To the law. The law is my business. Yeah. But you didn't do it. You don't kill a man for $200. Every man has his choice. He made his. One of these days, Kiefer, you're going to go too far. If I do, it'd be for a hell of a lot more than this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. First time I ever saw you two move fast. What about the bonus? You got it. Even though you didn't earn it. Oh, Mr. Pike, we was really sick. Yeah, terrible pain right here. Wouldn't wish it on a rat. Figure we deserve a drink, too. Well, Pike, here's to us. My God, here's to us. <laughs> you always knew we were going to make it, didn't you, Mr. Morgan? There were times when I wondered. Wondered plenty. Maybe I was biting off more than I could chew. How did it feel to be rich? Hell, damn good. But hell, Pike, this money is for all of us down in Sonora. We're going to do things down there. All those things we've been talking about for years. Yeah, sounds mighty good to me. We're going to make us a place where everybody can, can live with, without somebody telling us what to think, what to do. A place where a man can be what he is. Some good folks down in Sonora, Mr. Morgan. Best I ever met. Well, Pike, that's your home now. You're as much a part of the Morgan Ranch as I am. Miss Linda Morgan, Rancho Dos Rios, Sonora, Mexico. Everything fine here, stop. Coming home with Pike. Stop. Your loving husband, Bob Morgan. How long is that going to take? Not long at all. She ought to have it in uh, a day or so. Get this out as soon as you can, will you? Can we send this right now? I'll take care of it. Well, she know we're headed home now, sir. Yeah, yeah she ought to be. <laughs> Must be. I'm a little tired. I'll get you to the hotel. Here, just, just give me a minute. Uh, you, just, you just take it easy, Mr. Morgan. No time, Pi. No one but you. You gotta get that money back to the ranch. All the people are counting on you. You're going back, Mr. Morgan. Give me your word, Pike. Give me your word. No matter what happens, you'll get that money back down there. Everything depends on that. For everybody. All our plans. You've got my words. That I... No, oh, Mr. Moore.
card. Well, Mr. Dealer, I certainly would call this a fine hand. Lacking only one thing, which I trust you will now deliver unto me. What the hell are you talking about? One card, sir. Three. And one for the dealer. Uh, one. I believe one of you gentlemen have the bet. Whoa, two. Here's your two. I'll push it for two more. Your name wouldn't happen to be Pike. I've been called a lot of things, sir. But that ain't one of them. Thought it might be my lucky day. You know that buck at Dryden to Sonora? The one with $86,000? You trying to tell me that story about the Morgan payroll is true? I swear, mister. My cousin Billy's seen it. Play the goddamn cards. Excuse me. The man's anxious to give me his money. If you can beat this hand, I'll kiss my nose. Uh, no. Ah! Oh, Come on, what the hell's going on here? Thought we was playing cards. You was telling us about kissing your nose. You have to beat a king high straight. I guess you better puck up then. Thank you, gentlemen. Mister, you're the luckiest man alive. Or the handiest. Keep this for me till I get back. Where are you going? Fishing. to share. We'll leave you plenty. How about it? He don't call or die. There's enough for everyone. It's only money and hell. It ain't even yours.
are you doing? What are you shooting at? Wait till you can see him. Cigar in one hand and a horse in another can't do you no harm. Seems like those fellas back there had you in a lot of trouble. Figured I saved your hide. Would have got done anyway. All you did was save me some time. <laughs> You're welcome, I'm sure. My mama always taught me manners. So, I do. My name, Tyree. Tyree. Yeah, I heard of you. That's all I need. I figured it'd take some time to convince you at that point, but uh, I'm kind of glad you see it right off. All I see is a fancy talking nigga and a fancy show. Eddie? Why don't you get back on that horse before your ideas get out of hand? I'm thinking on getting rich, too. But my mama always taught me to look ahead. Let's say I killed you, took the money. They just come looking for me. But you got the right idea. Make it to Mexico. Spend the rest of your day spending. Is that your proposition? You got it. We ride together from here to Mexico. I protect your tail, you watch mine. And when we get there? Once we cross that big river, all bets are off. Why should I trust you any more than them? Because they're dead, and you want to stay alive. Dying is a way of life for some people, Tyree. Make sure you don't have that problem. <laughs> you know something, Pike? We're practically invisible. I mean, everybody's out looking for only one docky. Now there's two of us. How they gonna know you now? <laughs> you always carry a pack of snakes with you? That's a story that ain't never been told. Well, I seen you throw snakes, but can you shoot? Well, you just gonna have to wait to find out. Seems like uh, somebody's got to move. Seems like. Now, friend, we can't tell which side you're moving on. That one or this one. I haven't made up my mind yet. You, uh, 
Need any help making up your mind? Never have. <laughs> All right. Seems like that I'm be wanting more from you than just money. on the way. Still don't know if you can shoot. Shut up pretty bad. I told you we was coming up behind Pike. Yep, so were they. This one was married. Too bad his widow ain't around. <laughs> you a gambling man, Pike? I don't do no gambling. Think it's gonna be like that all the way, Pike? What's wrong? The smell of that money's losing its sweetness? <laughs> uh uh, it's getting sweeter all the time. It's just like with a woman, Pike. Once you start to like them, always hungry. I bought a cigar. I don't do no smoking either. <laughs> Give me something. If now and then, don't you think about keeping all that money? You mean then uh, splitting with you? Now, that ain't a bad idea. Well, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> you think about it, though, don't you, Pack? I mean, it wouldn't be natural if you didn't. You'd be the same as me. Uh, maybe before, but. Uh... It's different now.
<laughs> I just practiced it. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are gone for forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. You finished? I am now. Let's go. Please. What the hell are you doing? Shit, mister, we ain't got nothing. You rode with Pike? Yeah, but we wasn't the only ones. I mean, there was lots better than us. But little eyes like yours have got to see a lot. We didn't see nothing, mister, I swear. Are you going after Pike, too? I might just be the one that's going to kill him. Pike, he don't die so easy. But dead is dead, and that's my problem. Now, you two are going to ride with me. Or... With him. Hey, Pike. You know something? I've been thinking. I know why I'm risking my hide. Why are you doing it? Because I told Morgan I would. Gave your word to a white man. Where I'm from, that ain't exactly binding. Not $86,000 worth. I gave my word to a man. Like being a gentleman? your husband? Where are you headed? 
to a little town near the Rio Grande. Well, we're headed that way if you want to ride with us. I'll run up a couple of horses for you and your friend. One. He doesn't need. He was raised by the Tarahumara Indians. Two blacks, a woman, and an Indian on foot. You think nobody's going to recognize you now, Pike? Now that I know you can shoot, Tyree, we ain't got no problems. What's your name, amigo? His name is Kashtok. He cannot speak. He has no tongue. Who did that to him? Men, like those. up the pike by ourselves, bushwhack him, and keep all the money. Probably wouldn't give us much anyway. This way we got it all. We'll be spending it before he even knows it. <laughs> you happen to see a nigger riding by? Maybe. Maybe a couple of them. Is that right? Man says he's seen the big nigga. Not far up ahead. Well, that's fine. Depends on what you've got in mind. Sound like you got something in mind, mister. If you're gonna go riding out after him, you'll be riding with me. Or. Or what? Well, you ain't riding at all. You got some kind of claim on him? You could put it that way or put it any way you want. I just happen to be first in line. Well, you just going to move over. Thank you. I mean, for before, what you did. Thank you is very difficult for you to say, isn't it? That don't make me sorry that I said it. Well, just thought you might like to talk. Depends about what? I don't know. Thought it might make you feel better. I came from New Orleans. And before that, friends. You know about the Crips in New Orleans, where the girls are. I was there for three years, until Lucas, my husband, came and brought me away with him. He was a kind and gentle man. Perhaps you can never understand, but he did. He never asked me about what it was like there. He didn't have to know. Lucas made me feel, sometimes, almost believe that it never happened. Almost? Is that so strange? It can happen that a man can trust you without caring what you have been or done before. Yeah, I know about that. When my husband found Kashtok left to die in the desert, he brought him home to care for. Lucas was that kind of person. Sounds like you loved him. No. That was the only thing I could not give. I tried, but it was not there. Perhaps it's something that I've lost. Well, maybe you'll find it again. Where? Back in the cribs of New Orleans? No. I'm not going to chase rainbows, as they say in your country. Stay in my country. No. I was told they fought a war about that.
she say? She said that we won the war. <laughs> That's so. Why are they still shooting at us then? If they ever stop, I'd figure something was wrong. She tell you a sad story? What makes you think so? <sighs> Just kind of figures, Pike. I've known a lot of ladies been to a lot of places, including New Orleans. Everybody's got a sad story in their past. Some people more than others. She ain't no different. Don't you ever shut up. <laughs> Talking makes me feel I'm alive. Let's me know I'm here. You always been a loner, Pike. You kind of got that look in your eye that tells people to stay away. Depends on people. You don't like me much, do you? Oh, I like you, Tyree. But ain't you the fellow that's gonna try and kill me when we cross that river into Mexico? <laughs> yep, that's right, Pike. I told you we ain't gonna find nothing else, but you so goddamn pernickety. But you eat rabbit if you get hungry enough. So high and mighty. I don't eat no skunk. All you have to do is skin it up, wash it, put it on the fire, call it prairie dog. If we wait for chicken, we starve to death. I told you I don't eat no skunk. Hold it. Hands up. Where is it? I ain't got it. Don't make a move. There's supposed to be only one of them. Fact is, we're going to kill you both in about three seconds from now. What for? For the money you got. What money? We got 16 cents between us. But you're welcome to it all. Only chicken here. Chicken? You son of a bitch. Skunk is good enough for me, and you got a whole goddamn chicken. <laughs> Hell, neither one of them is him. I expect him to see $86,000. What? What? You mean there's a nigga riding around with all that money? That's right. Too bad you ain't him. Come on, let's go. You dumb bastard! We've got better things to do! Eighty-six! thousand dollars see mr Kiefer, just like we've been telling you old pike he's been this way he didn't take nothing off these fellas wouldn't take us long Stuff here. They left it all for us. But ladies, thanks. carrying the money closer to where we can spend it.
Luigi! Look! Them now, if we get across the bridge, we're rich men. They did it. Move your ass. Give me the argument. Get going. Because God sent you here. He means for me to ride on this crusade. Not the money keeper. It's what they plan to do with him. The devil's work. Oh, they'll claim to be delivering it, protecting it for others. But we know, don't we, Kiefer? That that's a lie. It's just a test of your purpose, Nick. Like when I first met you at the end of the war. That's right. They called us marauders then, didn't they? Because we no longer obeyed the rules of war. But I knew I obeyed the rule of God when I took revenge on his enemies. He's calling to you again, Dick. And I hear his call. To me. Do you drink? Do you chew? What about women? What about them? Well, you know, dear. They are. Sisters in Christ. Amen, brother. Angel? Yes, sir. The scepter of the Lord, his own thunderbolt, has been given into my hands to smite the unredeemable sinners. Show him, Angel. They're heathens, black heathens. Black is the devil's color, and they are riding on the devil's mission. Goodbye, $86,000. And it's all your fault, because if you'd done what I told you. All you know how to do is give orders and complain it. Best thing for us to do is just separate. Oh, wait a minute, Kanji. Don't be that way. Hey, money isn't everything. Hey, listen. Come on. You know those two blankets you wanted? I got them here. Come on. Oh, oh God! Get out of the box! Oh. God damn, Kanji, they're killing us!
How many isn't here? What? It looks like them, but there ain't no $86,000. Maybe it's just a story. No, it's no story. Everybody knows about it. Then where's the money? We've just been following the wrong ones, that's all. But we've crossed a lot of trails, all leading toward the border. I figure that's where the money is. All for the money. Ah, uh, no. All of a sudden, you got big ass. Yeah, I was, just figuring you was different. Thinking about joining up with the other side? Do you believe I think about that? Oh, yeah. I forgot about your recent bereavement. Hope you don't mind me saying, but uh, for a fresh widow and all, you don't seem too broken up. You would prefer it if I cry, if that's what you mean? <laughs> I kind of figured a man should always have somebody to weep over him. Guess I'm just kind of sentimental. Tears cannot bring my husband back. But they do help send him on his way. My mama always taught me manners. He talks too much. It doesn't matter. Well, I don't want him going and upsetting you, you know. That's uh, what he likes. And you, what do you like? The money you carry? Well, uh, I'm just holding it for a lot of people down in Sonora. It worked a lot of years for it. And you are taking it to them? That's right. I'm sorry. I didn't understand. You're a lucky man. Well, it doesn't seem that way lately. You have found something worth living for. I envy you.
take this. See if there's a way out. Yeah! Yeah! yeah.
Next time you get an idea like that, Pike, you keep it to yourself. We made it, didn't we? Let's get out of here. done it. That's something you'll never understand. What'd you say to her back there? I didn't say nothing. I guess she's just looking for a reason to live. And she found one good enough to die for. Guess he ain't got nowhere to go. You haven't come up against him yet, so you don't know. But I do. I also know what you're after, Kane. It's not exactly within the law. Well, we're after is none of your business. You're not wearing your badge anymore, Kane. I don't go anywhere with you. Be a damn sight smarter. Since when did you start sharing your belly? This time I'm making an exception. Sounds like you're the one who needs help, not me. Two niggers and an Indian. I can handle that myself. I've already buried a dozen men who said the same thing. Equal shares for every man that rides with me. You got a few minutes to make up your minds. You can't have my men, Keeper. Well, that's for them to decide. It wouldn't be safe to go on without me. Is that a threat? That's a fact. Tyree, I'm gonna need it. Cause we're gonna make it. You hear me? We're gonna make it. Yeah. We out in the middle of nowhere. Not even a goddamn horse. He's talking about make it. You see him butterflies. Women with laces.
son of a bitch. Every man has a right to decide for himself, Kane. They decided to ride with me. Now, what are you gonna do? Meet up with you at Calvera's camp. You, you sure you don't want to try some? Huh? I don't chew. Calvera's camp. Good. Good Mexican food. Chico, how you doing? You learn how to handle that buckboard yet? Si, senor. Hola, old man. It has been a long walk, yeah? Yeah. Got two good horses we could buy? Uh, at least you can ride them. Hey, Tyree. There's one for you. Hey, Tyree, I think you better try that one. Well, old man, what you gonna charge for these two miserable beasts? They are probably stolen anyway. As only a horse thief would know, senor. This one needs a shoe. He won't get far that way. It is a blacksmith in town. I'll tend to it myself, Chico. Is there any place in this town we can get something to eat or drink? Only for those who could pay for it. Well, that ain't no problem. Just see my friend now. That Indian going this time.
many men with these? Only after they shot at me first. I wish, I wish I had a gun. Why? Who are you going to shoot? The man who killed my father. Chico. I followed you, senor. Well, you better go on back in the house now before we get in trouble with your grandfather. He's not my grandfather. I just work for him. I have no one. It's past your bedtime. I remembered you after 10 years, Mike. Well, that took you long enough. Is that the only reason you're here? You're still a wanted man. Yeah. What about the money? Money stays here. I would have shot you. But I've learned uh, that every man needs a second chance. That could be your failing, Pike. Could be.
Well, I'm surprised you didn't shoot him. That would have been kind of difficult. a man. Hundred dollars for a two-day ride. Hey, my baby, bitch, my. How much money do you have, this man? Enough. Pay them and you and us. And maybe a little bit more. And they must be very dangerous, these men. If you need so many of us to catch them, bit of a challenge for you, isn't it? You'll get paid. We need to do exactly as I say. Exactly as you say. But you guarantee it. You got my word. <laughs> Your word. To men like us, a word is a very valuable thing. But I accept your guarantee. We will ride with you and with your word. But if you don't pay us, then we will ride after you. He's going to give $100 each to these Mexicans. We ain't no closer to that money when we start it. <laughs> well, looky here. No drink, no smoke, no chew. <laughs> no sleep? Someone's in the camp! Mr. Keeper, over here!
like some kind of work camp. Yeah. I figure this is about as far as we go. Kind of thought you'd remember that. I kept the first half of my promise. To help you get here. That's right. And you planning on keeping the rest of it, huh? <laughs> now, you wouldn't respect a man who didn't keep his word, now, would you, Pag? After all, ain't you the man who gave his word to Morgan? Ain't you had enough fighting? Ain't the point. Do it on foot? That's right. Do it on foot. Now that's real sneaky, Pike. Real sneaky. I never figured you for a low-down trick like that. But I figured you. Fighting you don't pleasure me none, Pike. It's the money I want. What's wrong? Many of them. An army. Where are they? Over there, on the hill.
Chico, I want you to ride ahead. Go to Sonora and ask them where the Morgan Ranch is. You understand? Si, senor. The Morgan Ranch. I understand. What about the men? I'll take care of the men. I'll catch up with you in a while. Now keep on riding, no matter what. And don't give anyone this money except Mrs. Morgan. And Chico, you tell her that Pike sent you. And tell her that he said that she'd give you home. Si, senor. Cash down. You're going with him, understand? I want you to take care of him. You go, too. I kind of figured on doing that anyway. Ain't you kind of scared? Take my chances. Amigo. Luck. Those are the men with the money. Then why do we stop? Not all that simple. No? To me, it doesn't look very hard. Easier than robbing a bank. Hmm. A lot of dead men thought the same thing. I'll go in when I say. see none of that money the way he's giving it away. Yeah, first there was three of us, now there's more than I can count. Yeah, remember what he said. Dead is dead. You ain't got the guts. Mr. Kiefer? Mr. Kiefer, sir. I heard some talking last night at Calvaro's camp. Something you should know about. I don't know who was talking. I couldn't see a face. I heard someone say we're going to shoot you. Yeah. Shoot you. Shoot you in the back. It was his idea. 
I didn't have anything to do with it. Figured you might start worrying. Well, I didn't figure you'd give a damn. Then I guess we both were wrong. Amigo, I think you are shooting in the wrong direction. The ones we want are there. Now, Senor Kiefer, I think my men will do it alone. Vámonos! It's too late. No. Only for you. We don't wait anymore. How many you figure out there? Could be more than 40. 40 is it two. Pretty bad odds, right? Well, them. It's a shame that you never had one of my fine cigars from New Orleans. How come you ain't never tried one before, Pike? Man, you know I don't do no smoking. But I guess I will now.
How come you didn't tell me you couldn't swim, huh? I can't do everything perfect, right? Besides, I was just trying to keep my gun dry. <coughs> well, you ready to take this long, hard walk? <laughs> <coughs> uh, 